What's going on, y'all? Not the real Will Smith and another for your mother. I know y'all about to be real mad at me. I gotta show you something. I bought this part the 11th of December last year. It is March the 2nd, 2024. I'm just a procrastinator, y'all. But anyways, I'm gonna put y'all on because nobody made a video on YouTube about this, so this is about to be universal. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to replace, for any Toyota, any Lexus product, how to replace your electronic trunk release. So, when I first bought this vehicle, I bought it back in November of 2023. The main issue I had, I think, month two of ownership, I probably only had this car three going on four months, is this release right here. I had an issue where it's electronic in the front. Uh, it's a lot of vehicles that show valet mode of how to, like, disable it so, like, people can't get in the trunk or people can't get into, like, your... A glove box but they didn't show like a full video on how to replace this start to finish so we're gonna do that today I want to make sure that the actual part is in here and I will show you guys the part number this is a OEM uh, part for actually a Toyota Camry but it's universal because Toyota and Lexus are together I want to show you guys how to replace this part right here so it's not loose I'm gonna show you guys how I took off the lining the black lining that covers all the wires and stuff for the lights and all of that and then show you guys how to put it back in. So let's get started. All right, first things first, y'all. So this is RT RC350. If you guys cannot get in your trunk, obviously if you guys push the trunk release button here, you guys check valet mode on the other side. I'll show you guys that in a second. And it does not open up. You have to push these clips down on this side or that side is a 60-40 split and go through the trunk and manually release the trunk through the manual um, latch release here. I had to yank on it a few times in order for it to actually move like this. But when I first got it, the release wasn't working. So this part that you see moving was not moving at all right in there. So you see how it's moving now? I live in a cold, a cold area, so it was sticking. So I know it's time to be replaced. You hear the click now. So it doesn't work, valley mode in here is right there. You can see it right there, that button and trunk open cancel push in push out and then you're good to go in there so again if that doesn't work then you gotta actually replace it and that's what i'm here to show you today i actually already did a step i did not show you guys it's very simple you're going to use this tab puller right here and you're going to pull each tab out once this trunk is open and you're going to pull all of these out so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen i'm pretty sure i don't have thirteen down here but it's okay because I can get some more. They're very cheap. You can buy sets of these all the time on Amazon for like five bucks. And each little holes go around here. Again, just to cover the wiring and things like that. So step number two is once you take the actual, um, the cover of the, the inside of the trunk off, you're gonna go here. You're gonna see two 10 millimeter bolts on the inside right there, left and right. You're gonna take these off. Once you do that, the third step is to disconnect the wiring here that actually electronically controls it. And then you have to use that tab puller that's right here to take the rest of these tabs off. So you guys look up in here, it's a tab right there. Pop that off, pop that off, right? And this, oh, excuse me, don't listen to me. This tab right here, you wanna focus on this part right here, this line right here. Use the tab puller to take this one off and then you should be fine. They should like literally separate apart right at this point.
So in here, guys, come. So in here, this line itself runs from here, it goes all the way up in here, right? Right up in here, you'll see the little module right here. And there's two more screws, one here and one here. This part itself is not getting replaced. This module works just fine. It's just the trunk release on the end. We're gonna use, I want to say another 10 millimeter. Um, that's why I have a long socket on there. I'm gonna take these off from the housing in the back and then we're gonna be able to disconnect it and then we'll be able to like do the reverse for the new sensor. Um, excuse me, the new um, trunk release. We're ripping holes in it because you won't be able to see it without it off. It's very clear too. It's clear as day right here. And also the reason why you guys need the um, tab puller is because you don't want to rip off the tabs and or scratch your paint. You want to be careful with that. took off this side right here. I need to take off this one right here, 10 millimeter socket. And the black line, you guys can tell, that's connected to this one, like I said earlier. It goes all the way back down to the actual release. All right, guys, so I wanna open up the new part because I wanna make sure I don't have to take off as many of these items off of the car. So, you guys will see what I got from. So, Trunk release doesn't have a part number. It has an item number 125, lot 1363. I don't want to say that's it, y'all. And it's okay, though. I will definitely be able to get you guys a part number for sure and show you guys how um, much it is. So all brand new hardware. As new as it come. The vehicle just came off of, did not have that many miles on the air. Probably had like, I think they said 16, 17K. So, I can tell it was clean too. It's clean. Gotta get all this crap over there. Just be careful not to cut the wiring or the lines itself. Normally I would. See, works just fine. The difference between this one and the old one is it doesn't click. It doesn't click, so it's not that smooth. So if you were stuck in the trunk, you stuck. You guys can tell it's kind of loose and stuff. It's not as tight as this one. You see, I gotta pull a lot harder. You see that, the movement? This one is very, you see all the mechanism is working real smooth and stuff. This one is not. So it's like it picks and chews when it wants to work. Yeah, so definitely time. It's a lot smoother. I right. says little things, uh, you know. People always wonder why how my cars make it to how many miles I have on there. You gotta be proactive. You gotta really take care of your vehicles. Yeah. So, yeah, see how this stops here? That means on here, this is where this needs to go in at. So this is why you need to disconnect this. Otherwise, you're gonna be working behind there. And if your fingers aren't small, it's not gonna work for you. So I still gotta fully disconnect it first. There's one more screw. If you guys look on this side, that should be another 10 millimeter socket right there. Look at that, oof, that looks bad, Ooh, dang. It works, but I know next time if the trunk doesn't work, it's, it's this for sure, next time. Dang, it's kinda tight too, break it loose. that off. Hold on, put this down here. Like so, boom, and just like that, y'all. Yeah. So this part pops out first. Hopefully I remember how to put that back in. This part pops out like that. 
and then you lift it straight outwards towards you, and that is it. It all comes out. But we gotta do the opposite. We gotta make sure we put it back in the right spot. So, because if you don't, it's not gonna release the way it's supposed to. So, I'm gonna pull it back through here, like so. Out with the old and with the new. Put it back through the hole here. Okay. Now it goes through this hole here. Have it run through the back, because remember, you don't want this touching anything, man. And we're not gonna have it like weight, the weight dragging, so I'm gonna just sit it on the side like that. Put it back through here. Clip it here first. Well, just to be safe, and put it down like that. So you see that, y'all? Put it in there like that. Boom, pull it outwards, right? Push it in right here. Boom, it's back in place. And this part's the tricky part, because I forgot how this goes on. All right, y'all, so when you put it back on, Hold it downwards like this. Push it over here, the hole there. And need to go over this hole here for this other screw, like that. So both sides are matching. Boom, and we're gonna put everything back together. It doesn't have to be super tight because it's just, it's not in a spot that's causing much vibration. Um, it actually already has grease on it as well. So, but be careful to wire them. You don't want to pull on this because you don't want to tore it. Now you gotta replace the wires up there. All right, it's time for that. So in reverse order, that's literally, that's it. Then this thing gotta go back up in here. Put that back there. Stock it, cause you don't wanna strip the bolts. Get one started, so it just sits there like that. Get the other one. Put it back in there. Be careful, do not drop it back behind the trunk. Or else you have to get a magnet and get it out. I don't have one. Then I'm just gonna tighten them up. Are you tidy lefty Lucy? Jingle, jingle, no nothing. Boom. Now we gotta come back this way on the outside of the trunk. And we gotta line everything back up this way, y'all. So, remember where this came from? Here. Push back in place like so. And then, put your connection back in here, right there on the side. Pretty stiff. Wait for you here to click. Boom. And then you're just gonna place it back up here. Oh, this part I might actually need to socket. So what I do, y'all, when it's a bolt that's going up, but the gravity's making it go down, is I put the socket on the screw, put the screw through the hole and then line it up right there. So that way, I don't have to worry about the screw keep falling out as I'm trying to twist it. And then, it'll be fine. So, let me hang like that. Start it up, like so. All right. Before you do that, you wanna check your homework. So grab your key, and make sure it's working. Hold the trunk release button. Works just fine. So I know that electrical is working back the way it's supposed to. I know I connected everything back and it's doing its part from there. All right. So, I put everything back. I haven't had this on in so long, y'all. It just looks so clean like this, like, <laughs> you know? So, you have to go through the hole first. Boom, like so. 
you gotta force it through there. Cause this thing, I'm tripping now. It does not go there. It goes here. <laughs> Put it in there like that. This part goes here like so. Like that. Slides up in there like that. And then, could you pass me one plastic bolt thing? And you want to start it. So, just match your bolts. At least one. That's the one right here. It literally just pushes in like that. It's that simple. But you want to make sure that your emergency like disconnect, the yellow tab that's reflective, comes out through here, right? So I have it set like that, All right? Once it's set like that, I'm gonna put the other screws back in, and then we're gonna go from there. Once you guys are all done, like I said, just button everything up like you should. Make sure that your emergency leash is sticking out there. Make sure that the hook right here it's in here and then just pull all your tabs back in. You simply just push them back in like so, all lined up with here. So it actually fits in place. It literally goes in one way. And then, then you're good to go. And you wanna check your homework one more time. So you just close it. Look underneath, push the button. And that's solid now. Very solid. All right. As usual, you guys know what to do. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit me up on YouTube, NTR underscore Will Smith. Another for your mother. Stay safe out there. Take care of your car. Your car will take care of you. We're going to reach 300K on this vehicle. And we're going to reach 2K on YouTube. Y'all know what to do. Love y'all. Peace.